What is going on, my people? You know who it is, the one, the only, never duplicated, Solano of Peru. To my new subscribers, welcome to that S to the O fam. If you guys have been following me for a long time and you know where that's from, let me know down in the comments. But welcome to that S to the O fam. Thank you guys so much for joining me. It does really mean a lot. And as always, if you like this type of content, fragrance related, you like just watching me and hearing me rant about fragrances, hit that subscribe button. If not, just hit that thumbs up button and I will gladly appreciate it and it will show YouTube that you like this type of content. Now, without further ado, I know you guys seen what's going on and what am I reviewing. So let's get on with it. Let me get my trusty knife to open it. For you guys don't know, I have a box. Not the box I want, but I got a box and this was sent to me by somebody. Let's go check it out and see what it is. Okay. Oh. So, shoot, 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 shoot. Hmm. I always hate it. I always hate it opening. I always hate it opening on boxes. So we got something from Don Don Don. Hold on. It's real heavy box. So here we go. We got something from Serjov. Serjov, it's somebody. So let's get on with it. Be right back. Let me open this. Again, the little bota from Samore. Oh, oh no. The little bota. Let's slide this off because this slides off. Dun dun dun. Okay, let's see what we got in here. So, we got the nice packaging in here, whatever's in here, the little paper. I like the box. Some discovery set, discovery, not a discovery set, but some testers. I mean, some, I don't know what to call these things. Oh, excuse me. Some samples there we go that's what I'm, i got lira italica 1888 and red hoba even though i have those but i don't know why i picked them i guess probably give somebody a gift or something but yeah so here's what we're talking about and it is surge off the same surge off packaging jing okay you can't smell the fragrance because sometimes sometimes you can smell the fragrance off the top and yeah, pretty much the whole spiel. Casa Marati's Quarto PC. Pizzi, pizza, however you say it. Pizzi. So this is their brand new. It was just launched. And, you know, since I do have a couple of surge offs, you know, I do have experience with it. Here's the bottle. Hold on. Here's the bottle. Let me put this aside. Here's the bottle. Look at that shit. Look at it. Look at it. Little bit of ASMR. You know, I hate this new packaging because it's so hard to come out. Oh my fucking god. Ugh, son of a bitch. Here's the thing. The bottle. Bam. It looks just like all the other bottles. And let me take this off. I hope the thing doesn't come off. Right, let me take this plastic off. Oh no. Oh, I guess you have to take. I don't know. All right, got it. Got it out. 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 Struggling here, <laughs> but yeah, here it is. The little. I like the little tassel right here. Kind of reminds me if you guys watched Hercules when Pain or Panic was drinking. He was drinking one of this. But yeah, here's the bottle. The bottle's all white. Uh, my batch code is, if you guys want to know, 05824N. Wow, there's the batch code. Hopefully you guys can read it. The same thing right here. All of them. The box. If you guys want to see the box, let me get on the box. As always, you pull it out through here. Boom. The box, 3.4. Uh, it tells you the story right here. If you guys want to read it, pause it. 
and read it right there. The story of Sicilian destiny the, that has known glory, wealth, and power. Quattro PC, the most iconic place that was home to La, to La Palermo's most symbolic and prominent families, a perfume rem, uh, reminisce of Bel Epoque era, where love, beauty, and nobility entwine with sincerity and sin, heat and passion unreal through the notes of the scented story ahead of Sicily's break um, beautifully backdrop, where the intoxicating notes of two bros enchant and swayed a sensual scent that enlightens long after the sun goes down. Pretty cool detail. And if you guys want to see the box, the bottom, pow right there. Like the box, it's pretty just the same as everything. Let's go. Now, let's go what you guys really came here for, and I am excited to try this one. Mm. Off the rip. Hmm. Off the rip, you get the tobacco. Way, way, way strong tobacco off the rip. And you get the florals. Hmm. It's very, very different. Very different. As a tobacco scent, you do get the coconut, but it's not your typical coconut that you get. You get that nice, not lotiony coconut. The tobacco's right there. It's starting to open. Very nice tobacco, like I said. Give me a couple seconds. Let it, let it like open up very nice this nice smoky tobacco very floral floral tobacco coconut sway like I said in there very smoky tobacco hmm Hmm. It's very different from what they said. It's like you're opening, going into a cigar lounge and you smell the smoke of it. Out there, you're at a party, very elegant place. That's the first thing you walk in and you smell the tobacco in the air. You get the two bros right there. The coconut is there, but it's not really, really dominant. It's not like that coconut, that sweet coconut. It's, it's the coconut. It's like a smoky coconut. Almost like if you were to smell fan your flames, like that kind of coconut. There we go. It, re it reminded me something similar like that. It's kind of like a smoky, almost fan your flames type of vibe. A little bit of sweetness. Okay, it's interesting. It's different. I'm not gonna say is your typical is your typical Casamirati. I like it though. It's different. The first thing you get in the opening is like you're walking, like I said, like you're walking into a cigar lounge and they're roasting in this desk. The same thing of coconut. The same thing almost similar to Fan Your Flames, but with floral notes. With some florals and not that strong with this one that is the best way I could describe it a little bit if you smell fan your flames by Nishane this is similar what it reminds you of reminds you of there we go this is why it sounded so familiar in the opening I couldn't pinpoint it till now it's really nice You get that sweetness in there, but it's not too sweet. It's not that sweetness. It's more tobacco dominant. Let's check the notes. I'm out here just trying to smell it and study the fragrance. So it says the main accord, sweet, green, tuberose, aromatic, white floral, tobacco, coconut, vanilla, rum, soft, spicy. Spiciness, you do get that. You get that rum, you get that Davina, 
Davana, I'm sorry. It's kind of like piney smell. That's what a Davana is. Pana. Uh, a sharp herbal bitter green note with balsamic undertone. So kind of balsamic, almost piney. Coriander, pink pepper are the top notes. Tuberose, coconut, tobacco, tonka bean, hay. Okay, so that's the note I couldn't detect. I didn't want to say anything till I was sure. Now I know what it opens like. Perfect. The opening, you get this nice. If you're a fan of hay, you get the opening with hay, tobacco. Those are the dominant notes right there. This smoky tobacco hay is in the opening. Green. Now the dry down is where it's starting to get more beautiful. Because now this is where the coconut is coming in. In the opening, it reminds me a little bit of Fan Your Flames. But this now, it's starting to get more floral, more sweet. Now the coconut is starting to get creamy. The tobacco is starting to take the back note, the back seat into it. And the other notes are starting to come. Green. And the drawing down is green, coconutty, floral. Wow, this is a very, very interesting fragrance. This is the way it changes, it's different. And I do like it. At first, the opening was a little bit harsh for me because I couldn't detect the hay. But the hay right there with that smokiness and that booziness is what you get in the opening. It goes from, so this is the best way I could describe it. From Nisha Nays, Fan Your Flame is with an opening up with that hay note. And then in the bottom, in the dry down, it's starting to get more green, coconutty, sweet, creamy is where you're starting to get. That's what I get now at the bottom. It's a nice fragrance. It's a really very nice fragrance. And I do tend to like the dry down more. I would like to study this fragrance more and give you my full review, but this is my first impressions. And so far, it's nice. It's different. It's nothing, nothing that it reminds me of. A little bit, a little bit in the opening. Like I said, it starts with Nishan A, Fan Your Flames in the opening. But then it turns into its all new fragrance. You get the greenness, the sweetness, the spiciness, and the dry down. Wow, this is a really nice fragrance that has to be. It's not for your everyday fra uh, fragrance fragrance head. It's for those that like something different and something unique. Because it's really different. It turns different. It doesn't stay the same as in the opening. It's a really really nice fragrance that I think certain people will like. Um, let me know if you guys tried this. I mean, it's really unique. I really do like it. Um, it's something different. It's nothing the same in my in my opinion. Before people start lynching me, like, all right, no, it's different, and I like it. I like it. I knew I was gonna like it, but the opening kind of threw me off the way it was. But yeah, I love it. I love it. Can't wait to try it down. Supposedly it's summer, but I don't. I don't know. I'm miffy, but I have to try it out and see how it works. Let me know if you guys have tried it. I'll read you down in the comments or if you're interested in trying it. I do think you should try this out and you guys be the judge of that. Don't take my word for it. Take your own word for it and try it out on your skin because you never know. Um, and as always, wear which one, buy which one, and I will definitely see you next time. And if I don't, it's probably because you're not subscribed. Remember, just because it's niche doesn't mean it's always good. And just because designer doesn't mean it's always bad. Peace, I'm out of here. You know who it is. Think of king of this bitch.